Hey guys, this is John, and I'm back playing Old Love, Grandmaster Old Love, in three minutes on ICC. And what are we going to have this time? Uh, I'm black in this game. Uh, we played one game yesterday in a King's Indian, and uh, we're back. He just challenged me a little bit earlier, and I missed his challenge, so fortunately I was able to re-challenge. So this is Grandmaster Michael Roes. I believe he's close to 2600 feet A. Great blitz rating. I have a slightly passive setup right now. Uh, let's go just take that bishop and then play knight b7, looking for a trade. I think I could take and then play knight d7. I could also just get out of the way with queen to c8. But I think I like the look of this. Yeah, let's do this, and then knight d7. I'm putting myself in a pin, I know, but my next move will be queen c8, and if necessary, rook d8, just to get out of the pin. Usually they end up playing f4 to support this pawn. And gradually, black can look to simplify. Like, I can bring my knight to f8 and try to swap down the file. Black has a very compact position. I can also play b6 here, but I'm hesitant to weaken that diagonal unnecessarily. So let's just do this, and if he takes on d8, we'll take with our queen. Hmm. So that indicates he wants to go knight f6. Probably king h8 is good. Yeah, let's do king h8. That leaves f7 undefended, so we'll have to keep that in mind. He advances. He's out for blood in this game. <laughs> okay, let's just Check. take and then play queen e8. So I'm slowly unwinding my position, kind of unpacking this. Let's play h6, just stop that pawn from getting any further. Maybe queen c6 was a move I could have considered, attacking the knight and also that pawn. Let's go rook d8. So again, kind of a cramped situation, but on the whole, I don't foresee too many issues beyond that. I mean, the space disadvantage is a concern, but I think I can navigate that. Okay, Check. let's take and play queen c6, attacking that knight. And then let's bring this out. Maybe look to play knight c5 eventually. Probably bring my king back towards the center. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the king over. b6 might be helpful. If I can put the king on e8, that would free up my queen, so maybe I could penetrate with the queen somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. They're going to let me go a4, huh? Ooh, I also have bishop here. Bishop there looks awkward for them. Let's do that. So set up a pin. I at least don't see a easy way for them to get out of that pin, so I can annoy them. Ooh, does this run into knight c5? I believe so. Just let me get the move order right. Yeah, knight c5 is winning, because I have knight e4 on the next move. And note that my bishop controls d8. Okay, so with that game, we actually go over 3,000 in blitz rating. 3,019. I'm offering him a rematch. Yeah, he just blundered big time right there. Uh, let's play d4 again, just like yesterday. Hmm, maybe a Nimzo Indian this time? Hmm. Okay, I'll play my usual stuff, Queen C2. I'm not going to get too creative in a three-minute game. <laughs> Deviate from normal. Let's just play Knight F3, Bishop G5. Let's see how aggressive he wants to get. C4, okay, so kind of keeping me from playing Bishop D3. I wonder if I can go knight e5 followed by f4. That would be interesting. Let's try that. I could play some normal move like bishop e2 or whatever, but it's interesting to try to prop up this knight on the square. Uh, let's just play bishop e2 now. I'm hoping that d5 is kind of a weakness for them. I got a new water bottle. So you don't see the orange one that you usually see. <laughs> this is a camelback. I like it. So I can develop my position like castles and then maybe put the bishop on f3 and hit this pawn. If ever they play bishop e6, they'd have to reckon with the possibility of f5. I like what I'm seeing so far. I think this is promising. Hmm. 
So if I take e7, they'd have to take with the knight. But maybe that's okay for them. If knight takes c6, they have bishop takes h4, so I can't do that. Take, knight takes. Mm, they get bishop f5 in with tempo after that. I think I'm going to keep this bishop. As weird as that seems. Let's go bishop f2. Whoa, what was that? Bishop c5? He just resigned immediately. I think he was trying to play bishop b4. I would have given him a take back, but he just resigned. Let me offer him a rematch. Okay, so game number three. Um, let's play, let's actually play knight f6. I'll see if I can get a Benko Gambit in this one. Benko Gambit it is. Okay. He chooses the accepted line. A lot of GMs play a Fianchetto system with uh, g3 and bishop g2, but he's going straight down the main line. Okay, let's play here and then castle. Now h3 or rook e1 is usually played. Oh, actually, I forgot about this move. This is kind of the, the newer move. Um, let's play rook a6 and then queen a8. I don't know much about this line. I know that it's trendy these days. It's recommended uh, in a lot of sources. I think in um, Larry Kaufman, Grandmaster Larry Kaufman's book, he recommended this line. And that might have been one of the first uh, books or resources to actually recommend it. Knight b5, threatening knight c7. I should probably play rook c8 to defend that. e6 looks almost mandatory to try to undermine their center. Otherwise, where's my play coming from? Yeah, so let's do that. And then e4 is a little bit weak, so at least I have that going. Maybe c4? Or d5? Let's go c4. Prevents them from playing queen c4. Maybe I can play knight c5, get a knight into b3. This works defending d6, so even though that is a little bit weak, it's okay for now. Yeah, I think if I get a chance, knight c5 would be nice. So I hope I'm able to play that. Problem is, I might drop c4 if I do it. Maybe he could try bishop b4 right here to attack d6. My apologies to those of you who have been looking for more just purely instructive content, like not me playing Blitz or Bullet or Standard or whatnot. Um, I do enjoy making that, and I will continue to. I kind of go in streaks with it, though. Like, sometimes I'm really motivated to make it, but it does take a long time to do those type of videos, whereas this, I can just log on and uh, get a game and immediately start telling you my, my thoughts. Um, also, I've just been motivated to work on my own game, too. I've kind of been inspired. I think I'm playing at a, a level I wasn't playing at many months ago, and I want to keep that going, see if I can improve. So this is really annoying. That's along the same lines as bishop b4, attacking d6. d5 doesn't help much. e5 looks really bad. Knight e8. Knight e8, they're just going to centralize a rook, although a4 is kind of loose. Huh. How to respond to this? Rook c6 looks awkward. Really awkward. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play e5. I know this blocks my bishop. It goes against every fiber of my chess being. But uh, maybe I can play d5 after this and get something going on that long diagonal. I got to try it at least. Got to watch my time too. Okay, they're just going to take. Let's take it this way. Okay, e4 now. Now let's just take here. Let's keep this pin going in the long run. Ah, oh, that's a good move. That's a good move to try to snuff out my play. Now this will be tough. Okay, I'm going to come here and offer a trade of the queens. i got to take this way when they trade, otherwise knight c7. Knight d3 is coming, though, so that could be a bother. Also, knight c2 is a threat. What am I down? I'm still down one pawn, also about 45 seconds on the clock. Don't count me out just yet. I like this water bottle because it only requires one hand to drink from. <laughs> I don't have to unscrew the lid like I had to do with that orange one. Rook there, okay. Um, knight d3. Attack b2. 
That's a good reply. I guess we'll come here. I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm not going to take on b2. I'm going to try for e4 instead. So we'll do that. He's not having any of it, though. Okay, take this. Hmm, I might just be down two pawns in the end game, though. Take, 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 take on e4. Can I play rook e8? Nope, knight f6. Uh, I gotta do this now. And how bad do I want to get tortured with 20 seconds left and down a pawn? <laughs> this might be a draw, but... This is gonna be incredibly Check. hard to hold. Okay. Let's just bring this back for protection. Hmm. Hmm. He has Check. 96 whenever he wants it. Yep. Now my king is awkwardly placed. I can recover though. H6 coming. Check. Okay. Get this going. Check. Ooh, drop that pawn. Whoops. Check. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get out of this. Check. Go after f3. I can now can trade knights. Okay, I'll just resign this one. All right. Um, yeah, he got the better of us in that one. Uh, I mean, practically losing in that time scramble. Down a pawn, and yeah, he can push for the win. I would have held that in a longer time control game, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's play g4. This is a fun line. <laughs> I have played this OTB twice. It's always a pleasure to play this way, where you can just launch your G and your H pawns down the board. It's pretty hyper-modern, no doubt about that. Yeah, so the idea is you uh, you create some trouble for them on the king side. So castling king side is always going to be a riskier proposition than it normally would be for black in kind of a pseudo nimzo setup. Knight e5, really. So take, you take g2. I play rook g1. Hmm. I could also just play e4 here. I don't want to allow him to take and mess up my pawns. E4 seems decent, but I also kind of like taking. Take rook g1. Mm. Okay, let's try that. It's a simpler continuation, but we'll try it. I guess I could move the bishop back. I don't know why I didn't consider bishop b7 too closely here, but... All right, so my knight ends up on g4. Unusual square, but maybe all right. Okay, let's just play bishop e3. So I've got a space advantage on this side of the board. That's nice. Let's play queen a4. So in that way, I discourage him from castling queen side. Because queen takes a7 would be the answer. I'll probably castle queen side myself. Not like I can castle king side, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do that. I expect him to go long too. He does. h5. Looks natural. Maybe weaken some of his dark squares. Hmm. Do I want to play for g6 or h6? Probably h6. Let's do that. I could jump this in, but maybe f3 or even going for f4 is better. Let's play f3 first of all. Stay solid. Let's hide our king. I like that idea. Borrow my opponent's plan. Just get the king to a safe score on a1, out of the action. Queen's probably not doing much over here on c2, so let's do this. Need something active. Rook d2. Let's play rook over here. I think eventually I'd like to play for f4, but I gotta watch e2. I gotta make sure e2 doesn't become too weak. Okay, they do go for this. Interesting. I wasn't sure if they were gonna play this way. Okay, so let's take Ampsant. Probably should eliminate that knight. Let's do that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to switch back over here. Maybe I can attempt to take on b6 at some point. Hard to say who's better right now. Okay, let's just pop this queen over again. He wants a trade. I don't want to trade right now. Hmm. I don't know, sacking would be really interesting. Because I can I can take and then maybe get at this pawn too. And this bishop is pretty restricted, like. If I'm able to do that, I probably miss my chance, so I probably have to do it right away if I want to do it. Uh, well, let's see. Bishop c8, maybe c5 now. Yeah, let's sneak that by. Because he can't take, he would lose on b8. So at least in this way, I get rid of my double pawn. Uh, he wants rook a4. Can I allow that? Or should I play d4? I don't have a lot of time to figure that out. Uh, I'm just going to do this and come here. Got to keep a2 defended, though. Very important. Queen g7 could be a threat. Let's do queen g7. <laughs> Very strange queen position, right? Let's come here and offer a trade. Bring the king up a little bit. Okay, we'll come here. I don't know. Um, e5 is weak. How does he defend that? I'm going to go after it like this. Or is he going to come after... He might come after my e2 pawn. Whoa, really? Time... You're going to do it this way, huh? Check. Okay. Check. Guess Check. I'm okay with a draw. I don't know if I can play this for a win. He really wants to win. Check. I, I do too, though. Hmm. Um, let's come here. Check. Check. Hmm. You don't have any more checks now. Check. No, you do have checks. <laughs> Never mind. Check. Check. Oh, I'm getting made it. Nope. Not Check. Yet. Check. Check. A5. Check. Oh, he's going to make me. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. Nicely played, old love. Nicely played. I wasn't expecting that bishop sack at the end there. That was interesting. I mean, I feel like it should be a draw after that. Like, what did he play? Rook d7? I'm going to offer him a rematch. He played rook d7. And made it real interesting, but I think I might have had some resource to defend, just didn't have the time to figure it out. We've got ourselves a proper match here. I think it's two to two. I got that one victory off of the um I'm just gonna take and then play knight bd7 off of that mouse slip by him, but it's the name of the game. It comes with the territory. Okay, h6 just to make sure knight h4 never wins that bishop. All these games have been interesting. So we got that going. Offer a trade of the dark square bishops. Knight d4. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Could drop it back. Is knight takes c6 ever worth worrying about? Nah, let's just drop it back. Just wondering if he could do that and then try to take and then bishop takes and get my rook in the corner. Well, he's going to do it. Interesting. Okay, I guess Check. we'll see how this pans out. I think I should come here. And then I was thinking about just trading the queens. Yeah, I'm playing for the end game, but this, this is probably all right. I know we can play b4 and get those pawns rolling ASAP. I don't want this piece to be out of play, though. That's one issue I might have here. Okay, let's, let's try to get that back in the game for that reason. I don't know, maybe I didn't want the queens off the board. It's hard to say, actually. A5? Yeah, let's go A5, just try to sh slow him down over there a bit. Hmm. Okay, take. 
I wonder if c5 could be played, just kind of barrel through. Rook takes c6, knight here. That would work for him. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to give up that knight. Otherwise, how do I stop these pawns? Rook c8. Let me calculate this. Rook takes c6. Knight b6, c7, knight c8, rook d8. That's the problem. Hmm. All right. I'll try to forestall these pawns advance, but it's not going to be easy. I need like e5. Hmm. Okay, let's come here. Just blockading for now. Knight d5. Knight d5, rook a3 is going to happen. All right, let's try to get this bishop back in the equation. So I'm looking to play bishop a5, f5 and try to have it control c8. Trade. Just looking for some counterplay. Really? Okay, so rook c6 is their plan, I guess. Huh. It's a good plan. All right, I'm going to try this. doesn't work, though. They can just take, bishop takes, and then rook b3. This is looking losing. Let's try this. Try to take b5, I guess. Okay. Again, the clock situation is not trending in my favor. Important to play faster. I can't spend this much time. Check. These last couple games is black. He's gotten a big time advantage. Last couple games where I was black, that is. Can I win that pawn? Maybe. Hmm. Rook d5, I have knight c7. Hmm. That was forced, I think. Maybe, just maybe, I can hold this. If rook takes b5, he has rook takes there, interestingly. Uh, let's do this. Okay, take that. He's going to start playing fast now. Time warning. Hmm. Time is going to be a big factor Check. for both of us. Let's bring this up. Check. Check. Let's try to do something with this knight, but it's way off in <laughs> nowhere land. Knight c4. Check. Check. Go after that pawn, I guess. Could have taken that. Check. Just moving at random now. Yeah, that's mate. Check mate. Okay, well, we made it a little closer than I think it uh, normally would be. Okay, let's focus on playing fast and being practical in this game and not getting too wrapped up in other factors. I'll still try to commentate as much as I can. Okay, we have a Grunfeld this time. Let's play this line, e3, and then I'm going to go for bishop d2, kind of a more conservative line, but uh, in playing this way, maybe I can discourage him from playing the customary c5. Hmm. Okay, let's just play bishop d3. So he's going to get the two bishops, but maybe this pawn structure 
gives us some chances. Uh, 94 maybe, 94 would be interesting. Don't think I'll play that way though. Okay, let's just get out of the way. So this has turned into a full-fledged match. This is what I like. <laughs> uh, A3, looking to play B4. Let's just bring this rook over. I might try to force through D5, if I so choose. Okay, let's just take. And let's play Check. down the D file. B4 could also be played. Maybe B4? Grab a little space. He still needs to bring this piece out. So maybe I can force this knight to an awkward square like d7. Hmm. Okay, let's just play a3 and stabilize. I think I might have a small edge here. Attack the queen. He wants bishop d7 next move. So we should probably play to prevent that. Let's come here. So I'm just trying to complicate his development. Also, queen d8 might be a plan. I wonder if a5 striking over here is good. He could try that. a5 might be the answer for him. a5, maybe knight e4. Looking to do knight d6 in the future. Okay, at least I have something in mind, and I'm not behind on the clock. <laughs> He's thinking a little bit. B6, okay. Knight E4, bishop B7. Let's go for the Check. trade. Yeah, bishop f8. Hmm. Let's do this next. Look for a trade of this. And I'm thinking of bishop b7, I have rook d7 at the end. Yes, bishop takes f3, I take back. Maybe that's a tiny bit better for me. Yeah, it would be. I have the initiative there. Uh -huh. Bishop d7. Bishop d7, he just plays bishop b7, so I gotta come here. a4? Yeah, I can do a4. If bishop takes, I have rook d8. Rook c7 is an effective answer, though, I think, right now. Okay. Let's gain a little space over here. Get rid of any back rank issue. Oh, you can just take that now. Duh. Mm. Should have played b5. Mistake by me. Big mistake. Okay, he's threatening f6. Also bishop c3. I should probably just retreat. See if we can play off his time. Knight c6. Not doing much. Let's go here. That's a weak pawn too. Hmm. Not happy with my play right now. Okay, I'm just going to sack that, I guess. He could take either way is good. Yeah, he just takes that way. Got to try to get this knight doing something. All right, let's bring this up. Uh, let's try to break that down. I think he missed that. No, no, he can just advance that pawn. Yeah, I can't stop that. Hmm. Poorly played by me. Yeah, that was uh, an annoying game because I had great chances there until I dropped the pawn. Okay, so we're back playing d4, d5. I'll try to brush that last game off as much as I can. He's playing a little bit of a quieter setup. I've lost four in a row, so i got to get back on track now. Okay, we'll play bishop d6. Maybe bishop a3 in the future. Yeah, let's go for bishop a3 and just look to trade these dark square bishops. Knight e5, interesting. Okay, let's take here. Let's take here. Drop this back. Probably eventually I want to go bishop h5 to g6. I 
F4. Mm hmm. Aggressive. F6, maybe? Yeah, let's challenge the center. See which way he wants to take now, or if he does want to take at all. Let's take it with a pawn. If h3, bishop h5, that should be okay. Let's come here, attack that bishop. Mm, now I gotta worry for this, though. Gotta watch out for that. So maybe I just go back. Knight c5, not the greatest move. I think my position's still pretty solid. Maybe he can try to puncture it with f5 somewhere, though. Yeah, like f5 now, maybe? If take, I take with the e pawn. That's fine. Yep, he heard me. <laughs> Let's stay solid. Just drop the bishop back. I'm going to have slightly weak h and f pawns, but his e pawn is kind of weak, so that might balance it out. You can see from that last game just how important it is in blitz and all forms of chess just not to drop anything. You know, like, <laughs> I didn't have to do much other than just avoid losing material in that last game. I had an advantage. It was looking good. Okay. Um, hmm. It's an annoying move. I think I'm going to take... And then take here. He gets knight c4 in. I don't like that, but everything else wasn't looking great. So maybe I can play my knight up to, or my rook up to e6. Let's do this now. e7, just defend. If ever knight here, e3 will be hanging. b5 could be a threat. Let's just defend this for now. Defend f6 a bit better so I can maneuver my knight. Yeah, knight c5 should be decent. Mm -hmm. Rook over. Ooh, knight f5 is a threat. Watch out for that, John. Knight f5. Rook d7, maybe? Yeah, let's play rook d7. Ah. That move I didn't see. <clears throat> That's a good one. Yeah, that wins material, once again. As if my knight moves knight f5 check. And I can't double, he just takes. I could sack the exchange, but that's that's easily losing. Okay, yep. Big blunder there right at the end, too. So, we've lost several games in a row against him. I'll keep playing them, though, as long as he's willing to play. Okay, let's check. go queen a4 check. All right, let's play here. And then we'll go d4 and let's put the bishop on g5. Okay, we'll just drop this back. e3. He seems to be pretty knowledgeable about Grunfeld setups. Hmm, where to put that? Because he's going to play knight c6. Okay, let's just do it here. If knight c6, bishop e2, most likely. Maybe I can keep a tiny edge in this structure. Let's go rook d1, kind of track that queen. Make sure c5 can always be met by a capture. Okay, I like this position. This has developed all right for me. Hmm. Just gonna play bishop e2, I think. Complete development in castle. Pawn takes or queen takes? Let's go with pawn takes.
But our castle now. This pin is annoying. Like he can't move the queen because he loses e7. So it just takes him a few moves to get organized. Okay, let's do c4. Now I'm expecting something like queen a5. Maybe rook b1 in reply to that move. Hmm. Wants me to go e4 maybe. e4, bishop g4 though. I can play e5 then. Grab more space. Let's do that. He might be able to time c5 to break up my pawns, but I think with his queen still opposing my rook on d1, he's going to be less likely to do that. Hmm. Okay, so let's bring this back. I don't think there's anything on e7 anymore of interest. c5 now, maybe? For me? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I expect b6 to undermine. Okay, we'll take. Let's come here, see if he wants to swap. Let's play this up. Look for a trade here. Maybe I can get pressure against this guy. Hmm. Maybe h4, h5. First, I'll defend this, though. Wants a trade of the queens. Mm, I don't think I want to trade. So I'll try to avoid that. Ah, so now he's going to maneuver the knight. Let's go h4, h5. Let's see how that pans out. He might play h5 to try to stop us, but then I get g5. It's a good square. Rook c3. Rook c3, queen d5. Hmm. Good defensive move. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's shift focus for a minute and go after that c pawn. He might give it up, though, in a bid to win a2. He could take on a2 right now. And I'd have to watch that outside passer permanently. Okay, so he just wants to do that. Check, check, check. Okay. Let's check. Do a check. Time is of the essence. Try to come back and defend this guy. Once again, the time is a big issue. F3, knight e4, maybe? He's got to do something. Just bother him there. Really? Take that. Come back. Time. Okay, let's ooh, blunder that. Let's come here, stop him. Okay, so now we're totally winning, if not for the time. Okay, let's just come over and get this. Go after that pawn. Uh, move, John. Check. 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 Come here. Go after h6. Check. Check. Do this. Check. I'm going to flag him. Okay. Ooh, all right. So we worked pretty hard for that win, but we got the win nonetheless. I'm offering a rematch. Well, he. Um, I think he defended well in that one. I think he distracted me from ever getting anything going on the king side. I do think I was a bit better out of the opening. So I think in terms of openings, that probably played to my advantage. Um, I don't know this line super well. Queen a4 check, queen b3. After bishop d7, there's other moves for white too. 
But um, I just played kind of common sense chess. I didn't try to do too much. And that's probably why I was able to win this game. Although it was dicey at the end, as you saw. I'm not sure why he played king h7. I don't know what that move was about on move number 37. He kind of sidesteps some potential bishop takes h6 problems, but he leaves e8 undefended, and then the decision not to even defend the f7 pawn was really bizarre. I thought he would just repeat king g7. Well, I offered him a rematch. I don't know if he's going to accept. He hasn't said anything in the chat. What's the score standing at? I think I lost five in a row in the middle there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so he's currently uh, two games ahead, three to five in the match. Great player. Uh, just to show you his stats. Oh, I think he declined. Okay. But yeah, just to show you his stats, he's pretty highly rated. Doesn't play five minute, interestingly, but three minute, he's 2501, which is a great three minute rating. So, all right, that looks like it's it. So thank you guys for watching. Tough opponent, and hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys soon. Bye.